Yo, what's up? My name is Daniel Flayfield and welcome back to Road to Planche. If you're new to the Road to Planche, it's the videos where I post my journey towards learning the planche, actually working towards it, all the struggles, ups and downs. So if you want to follow that, hit that subscribe button. Let's first start out with all the comments about all the advice and tips from you guys that I should do this, I should do that, I should do that, 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 that. So many comments on what I should do. And this just opens up my eyes a bit more about how to learn the planche. Because there is not one single road to learn the planche. Some are doing high reps, some are doing low reps, some are doing different stuff. There is not only one way. I'm really thankful for everybody that is commenting all the advice and wants to help. I know that everybody just wants to help. But if I listen to all the advice and would try to apply them to my workouts, in the end, I would not do anything. I'm following what I have planned, I'm doing that. And if that works in the end, I'm happy. If that doesn't work in the end, I've learned. These two weeks has been interesting. Let's start with the first workout. You getting stuck as he feet in the mud. You have been caught in the flood <laughs> While the water isn't part of we run We put you so the harvest is us <laughs> You have been enjoying life Sipping the syrup and aligning the way <laughs> Taking whatever you touch The sword of the wicked is covered in blood <laughs> Welcome to the city of the nonsense Pleasure is the peace we can find in Dive in, ride a shotgun alongside the divide in. Taking the piece of the pie takes what was provided We won't be silenced, the path is wide and We found our God here Blood, sweat, spit, and these bricks for Babylon Made from the dust, these souls be trampled on You have been caught in the flood I have been caught in the blood What you need right now? You have been caught in the flood Back in the scene right now You have been caught in the flood I have been caught in the blood What you need right now? You have been caught in the flood Caught in the sea right now You have been caught in the flood I have been caught in the blood What you need right now? So these two weeks has been really stressful and I've put that stress on myself. It's because I want to do a lot of stuff. I'm that kind of guy doing a lot of stuff, like not having time to rest, just putting more and more and more and more and more and more, more. I'm trying to learn how to manage my time, spread out the things, do it over time more than just put everything in one week and every time have so much. Because one thing is that when you are stressed, your body also reacts to that. You, like me, uh, I have a lot of stress right now, so I start to feel a pain in my shoulder. It's super weird. I don't have any injury, but I start to feel a pain in my shoulder when I'm really, really stressful. So because I didn't feel the power, I felt that I hadn't rested enough. I tried to do my best. So I focus on doing more leans, doing like simple, simple stuff, but still challenging myself. Been caught, I just see blood, prophecy gossip is stuck to my tongue. I could be locked in this occupant, oculus drug, opiate open my lungs, taking the life of the young, reckless the cloth that we cut from some, hung like the diamonds we love, martyr the martyrs, martyrdom them don't run, in your family tree like the wind rush, wash out the sound, we never said much, don't step out, you might get crushed, by the wave that I see, as high as my eyes see, like 5,000 feet off the ground, I feel this feeling profound, my so like dust in the chat, they chanting loud as I drown. You have been caught in the flood. I have been caught in the blood. What you need right now? You have been caught in the flood. Back in the sea right now. You have been caught in the flood. I have been caught in the blood. What you need right now? You have been caught in the flood. Caught in the sea right now. You have been caught in the flood. I have been caught in the blood. What you need right now? You have been caught in the flood.
I've also been adding uh, core workouts after the sessions just to get more contact with my core and it has helped I felt the difference and I don't know why I didn't record that I've been doing strength focusing on that but now I want to focus on actually being in that position for a while to just feel and I start to feel a difference start to understand how I should work with my scapula my shoulders and everything so before you comment hey man that is not going to work you should do that and that if you have followed the road to plans you can see in the previous episodes that I have been doing strength I have been developing I have been doing the basics I didn't start calisthenics two months ago I have been doing the basics, but I need to step it up. I need to try something else as well. But the leans, I really focused on the leans. Some of you guys commented down below that uh, the leans, you should lean more if you want to have it. You lean, lean, lean. Yes, I know. And I've been focusing on that a lot. And I'm starting, I think I'm starting to understand where, how far I should lean. And my body accepts that, okay, you can lean this much. And I actually can hold the resistance a bit a bit better than the last two years. This is a road to planche and I'm not going to compete against somebody that saying hey I did it in six months, I did it in two months, blah blah blah. I don't care. It's my journey towards the planche and I want to share with you my journey, even the ups and downs and everything. And I think it's going to take longer than I thought because I using all the energy to a lot of things, doing the let me judge, doing everything else like the vlogs and tutorials and stuff. Don't get me wrong, I love that stuff, but that takes energy. But I really want to push YouTube, I really want to take it to the next level, do things that nobody is doing in the calisthenic community. Some of you have noticed that I'm really pushing, I'm posting a lot, I think I'm posting at least three videos per week and I've been doing that for the past two, three months and the channel has been growing. Like now we are growing like 50 to 100 sub per day. And that is amazing to see that this community, this channel is actually something that people like, that you like. But now that I'm able to be at the gym, also I'm gonna do more tutorials, so stay tuned. I think the next one is gonna be Dragon 360. And I promise you guys that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do that 540 tutorial. First the normal 540 and also the no touch 540. This week that I'm posting this video is a D-Lo week. So I'm taking a week off, not a week off, I'm doing a less, a lot less still maintaining so if i'm doing 10 sets of something i might do two sets only just to deload get my body to recover and i'm gonna focus on the sleep a bit more i know it's gonna be hard for me because i'm putting a lot of energy to editing and all that stuff to post the, like the victor kamenov interview and also the vitali melnik is coming after that but i just want to say thank you to everybody that is supporting my journey watching these videos watching the road to planche i just want to show the honest journey towards the road to planche all the people that are doing two i i learned um, planche in two months stop come on or learn the planche fast fast i have one rule what comes fast goes fast watching this and also is on the road to planche I just want to wish you all the gains be patient do the work every week I know it can be frustrating it can be depressing sometimes when you don't see the gains the strength directly but just be patient believe in yourself believe in the workout and you will get it before you leave hit that like button and I will see you in the next workout